Hi everyone! So, today I thought uh, about the new year that is coming and I thought, well, new year uh, in a lot of places equals fireworks and I thought I should paint uh, something that with fluid painting reminds me of firework. I have a couple of ideas that I want to try and I will do that today. I have a, a bigger canvas than usual and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be quite interesting to paint and uh, yeah, fireworks. <laughs> I also have a multitude of uh, colors. Um, all of them are metallic or pearlescent. Um, iridescence, uh, you get it. I have uh, two kinds of bronze, one copper, I have uh, silver, pearl, the hot mama red, <laughs> the cascade green, I have black for the background, and uh, gold too somewhere, yeah. I also mix my paint the usual way. Um, I put water in all of the paint because I'm not exactly looking for cells today. I I'm looking more for uh, patterns, mod, uh, blah, some motives, some nice uh, patterns, yeah. <laughs> and I will do that with a straw and probably paint painting a painting knife or a palette knife. Play with it a little bit. Play with the paint. The black here is for the black ground and the edges and all the metallic paints are for my uh, firework patterns that I will create. Uh, yeah, so water and everything. One part paint to ten part medium for the acrylic inks, five percent water and for the heavy body acrylics it's equal part paint to equal part medium and about 20-25% water depending on the brand. I'm looking for a fluid cream consistency uh, and I add water accordingly. And so yeah, let's get started with that. Alright, so zoomed in um, and ready to start. So let's start by the base coat of black and let's move it around over the edge right now that will be done. All right. Okay, so the plan is a couple of blotches of different colors.
and maybe even a bit more. It's like a firework finale. Cat hair, of course. Here we go. First firework done. For a second one, a colorful one. Gold, where is my gold? There it is. And a little gold, not too much. Come back, this one, a little gold, just lightly blue. Oh, a little green. I want them to look a bit mixed together, like they would in real life. All right, that looks kind of cool. I like it. Mix the two bronze now and see the difference in them. Just different brand, different bronze, different perspective on it. And then there's a copper. And a bit of green, I think, would look nice. Now I'm mainly red one, so what I'll do is spot of red, spot of gold, and more red, and blow away.
And here we go! Now, just going to use the straw to blow lightly and pop the bubbles. Most of them, anyway. And now I'll give you a bit of a time lapse. I don't think the paint will move much, but we'll see. And I'll pop uh, my bubbles in the meantime. Alright, so um, this is pretty amazing. I love it. I think uh, firework effect, the fireworks effect is a pretty um, well done. <laughs> and yeah, I love uh, the details that happens on the edges. I love the details in between the layers of paint. I love it. I think the idea of um, swirling with uh, the palette knife at the end was a good one. It added even more movement, even more uh, a sense of uh, exploding from uh, the inside out each little firework. It's quite the finale. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, bad joke. But yeah, uh, when I imagine a firework finale, I imagine a bunch of colors colliding and exploding together, uh, a bunch of fireworks exploding at the same time, just filling up the sky with light. And I think this will do it justice. I think uh, all the paints being metallic will add a lot to this painting. Right now we can see a little bit of the metallic and iridescence, the pearlescence of the red and green, but uh, it will just become that much more striking once it dries because um, medium being white, once uh, when it's wet, when I mix it in, just dulls it a little more, uh, just dulls it basically, and as it dries, the medium, the GAC 800, it loses that white color and become completely transparent and it will just reveal the color of the paint and the iridescence of the iridescent pigment, the pearlescence of the mica, and it's just going to be very, very nice. I really like uh, the left part, I think the right part is a bit too mixed in, but uh, it's still nice, it's still very cool. Uh, I really enjoyed this firework here and this one here. I think they are the best and most beautiful of the gang. Uh, it's funny because it's one with less color and one with green and red. I think. Uh, uh, it depends uh, not on the color, but really the shape of it all, and uh, they're both really cool, but all of them are really cool. In reality, uh, I like them all. I've got a little bit of cells as well. I did put more water in the black than in the inks, and you see in the inks there's some black cells. 
that's because of the water I put in the black and the pearlescent pigments are a bit heavy in density as well but the water really helped it um, to be lighter in density, helped the black and you can see it's pretty much only in the inks that we have black cells and I kind of find it uh, interesting because uh, yeah, the red here, that's an ink the green is an ink the that's where we get cells here as well a little bit we have cells uh, in here I used gold and the pearlescent more water in the gold and pearlescent we got cells in here a little bit and that's really the densities of the paint uh, because the heavy body paint need a little more water to really be the fluidity that I like and so I need to add more water in them and the water being lighter in density than the paint it lightened the density of the paint uh, and more water lighter and less water it means a heavier paint a heavier density paint and that's how the cells were formed so if really I didn't want any cells at all I would use either all inks or all heavy body paints but I don't mind the occasional cells uh, I think they look nice even though I didn't look for them and well I got one here as well uh, was that yeah it's the copper that's an ink red and green and copper they were all inks here we have a little bit of cells forming with the gold uh, I had an ink in there, the bronze and the copper. It's really a play on density, consistency. I think I will make a demo uh, one day of how it really happens with uh, different density liquids like oil and water. What happens if you pour water over oil? Well, I'll show that. And yeah, really lovely painting. Really happy with the result. That's some nice firework nice finale for uh, 2017 that's not quite the finale but getting there and I think it's really really a good look and yeah a lovely painting so yeah this one might just have to go on the achievement wall I am really really happy with it and I think it looks very different uh, from the general fluid painting and I am really happy with it and it's just so much details in there so much movement and the what are you doing you, you meant to do that? Yeah, nice. Okay, very nice. Thank you, cameraman. I hope you cut it out. No. <laughs> Just because you did it, it will stay. <laughs> All right. I was talking about the details in there. And... Um, it, it's a lot of detail, a lot of movement, and the interaction between the colors. That's what I prefer about the fluid painting. That's really what I like, and that's why I'm not always looking for cells. I think cells are nice, but there's so much more to fluid painting than cells, and if you can't get cells, it's okay. It's still a nice painting. As long as your colors are well picked and as long as the movement in it and the composition looks nice. I think that cells are completely overrated. Well, they are. Uh, even though I like them, I mean, there's so much more you can do with fluid paints than cells. It's my point. And that's what I really like about fluid painting. I think uh, this one can prove that. I think it looks really cool. I think it's very different 
and I think it's original and unique and yeah I'm quite happy about it and yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, little um, painting uh, demo and I hope uh, you may try it and don't be shy uh, I have a group uh, on Facebook a new group that I made uh, for my followers or anyone that wants to share their fluid paintings so uh, if you want to try it and post it there I'd be really really happy to see uh, your attempt to this uh, firework thing and yeah uh, the link will be in the description so you can find it and ask to join I will approve you and you can share your paintings there I'd be happy to see that uh, Firework painting there and what else? Many more paintings to come. I see. I hope. I hope. So yeah. Uh, on that note, if you liked that video, please give me a like. It helps me. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.